All right, guys, today I am in North Las Vegas, Nevada, at a Spirit Halloween back here that looks pretty dang cool. This is inside what used to be a Crunch Fitness Gym, Gym and Fitness. I'm not exactly sure what the name was, but it was called Crunch. Look at this. I don't know exactly how big the store really is, but it goes from this corner here all the way down there, and you can see a third sign all the way down there. That is huge. I don't know if I've ever seen a Spirit Halloween before with not one, not two, not three, but four signs on the building. And to be quite honest, that's exactly why I chose this location because it's so big and it looks so cool. Yeah, if you look close up here, under the spirit sign, you can see where it used to say fitness. All right, let's go on in and see what awaits in the old Crunch Fitness. How you doing? Okay guys, look at this. Wait a minute. First, look at this. This is so cool. You can still see where it says Crunch Shop up there from when it was a gym. But look at this. We actually have the Reaper inflatable set up. I have not been in a store yet this season where there has been an inflatable set up. Wait a minute. I take that back. Sort of. I was in a store... Oh my gosh, I don't even remember where it was. Maybe Kansas or something where they had all those inflatables in like the front window, but they weren't actually in the store where you could walk up and see them. But this guy is. Let's get a close look at him. If you guys remember, I own him and I actually had him in my recent video where I showed my whole inflatable collection and then the storm came through and I thought they were all destroyed, but miraculously I plugged them in and they blew up and we were perfectly fine. Okay, let's move on. Okay, one thing I immediately love about this store, guys, is look at this. The only way to go in is through the Haunted Spirit Hallows Cemetery. How cool is that? Now, we do have some boxes sitting over here, but these are all marked that these are displays. So these are actually from the guys that are already set up in the Spirit Hallows Cemetery, such as Miss Leatherface. I think it's funny how he's leaning back so far, like he is really putting some back into it. <laughs> and then of course we have stilts over here, aka Papa Pins, let's get him going. I love when you can step back and you can see them all going crazy in the background right before you enter. Like, that makes it so much more fun to come in here and it seems so much spookier. There's our sign, Spirit Hollows Cemetery. And it is kind of dark in here. Let's check out The Martian. Come on, Mr. Martian. Man, what a bummer. Once again, there's nothing coming out of his gun, but I have to say, with how dark it is in here, look how spooky he looks. That, he looks so much better in the dark than he does in the light. Okay, we have a whole bunch of boxes over here, and some of them are marked that they are displays, like the hex bun. We have a couple of little Jack Carvers over here. Scary Sitting Scarecrow, Martian Warrior that is marked. We have a Howling Spirit, a Slim. We have a The Widow with the Black Heart, another Black Heart, another Black Heart, a little Grave Watcher. Oh, she is a display. A couple of eternal rests here, a darling dolly, and another widow here. Yeah, some of those are actually for sale, but most of those are the display boxes from the ones that are already set up. And I find it funny that they're located right in the stretching zone. <laughs> Look at this kids crunch here. That must be where the kids went to work out. Guys, how cool does this look? in the dark. Look at the widow over here. She's just a dark silhouette. All right, let's go see her. How cool does that look? This looks like a legit haunted house. All right, Miss Widow. Like, if you didn't know what she did, you'd just be walking up and be like, hey, hi, um, can I be your friend? What the heck? She's not even gonna work. <laughs> All right, Widow, you tricked me. That wasn't fair. But she does definitely look awesome right there. Look at that. I can't get over that. All right, let's go ahead through here. I see Dagger Mike waiting. Look how cool it looks in here, guys. Oh my gosh, I love this. I wish all stores would just turn all the lights out. Let's look up through here, because I always forget. There's the ghouls up through there, but look how cool this looks in the dark. Oh my gosh. All right, Dagger. Um. Oh, over here, okay. Let's go ahead and get him going here. Is he going? Yes. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, look how awesome he looks in the dark there, guys. Oh my gosh, that gives a whole new level to it. Okay, let's keep moving here. We have the sitting scarecrow. I don't see anything, so maybe he will actually jump with a sensor. Is he gonna jump? Yay, okay. <laughs> Look at that, in the dark his eyes glow so much better. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. All right, let's tempt some children to reach in there, put some stickers. All right, let's come on over here and check out Gorgeous George. Come on, Gorgeous George. He doesn't really look too much different in the dark, but he still is totally awesome. All right, let's come over here. We got Slim set up on this side. It's not as dark over on this side because we have these big lights up, but let's get Slim going just for a minute here. I never want to neglect our fellow animatronics. Okay, is that all? Yeah, I think that's all of those at least for this setup. I don't know if there's anything else set up in here. Maybe for, yes, there is. Okay, let's just go on straight back here, guys. Look how dark and spooky it is in this store. I love this store so much. Yes, look at how spooky this section over here looks. So very cool. Let's go ahead and do the hex spawn first because I want to see him in action in the dark. All right, hex spawn, give it to me. I love how his red costume like throws up in the air. <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh my gosh, the dark makes him so much more spooky. Speaking of spooky, the spooky trees are spookier. The gargoyle is spookier. Let's see if he'll get going here. Come on, Gargi. Come on, Gargamel. Okay, he's not gonna work. But I do hear eternal rest over here going nuts. Those eyes look pretty dang cool in the dark here. And this one is actually working right. This is one of the first ones I've seen that is actually working right. Where you come up and the head spins just like that. It doesn't continue to spin all around and around and around even though I like it when it spins around and around and around and around. All right, let's see if we can get this chick going here. Come on, chick, here we go. In the dark, let's see how she looks. <laughs> yes! Very creepy in the dark under the free weight sign. Look, there's even a cardio sign up over there. And in the back here, I noticed it says, perspire to greatness. All right, let's keep looking at this stuff in the dark here. Let's go ahead and get Gordo going. All right, Gordo. Here we go. Gordo in the dark. <laughs> I wish that all these big lights up here were off as well, because even though it is super spooky, it would be so much spookier if the big lights were off and this were just completely dark. All right, let's get this guy going. Come on there, Mr. Guy. Soon you will forget everything. Your life, your past. You will stay with me for the rest of eternity. Yeah, he's definitely spookier in the dark. I, oh, I was just about to say I don't hear her going crazy, but look at this. She looks awesome in the dark. And we have Desmodus. Let's see if he actually works. I think his eyes light up if I don't, yes. <laughs> Look at that, so very cool. All this stuff is so much better in the dark, guys. How many times am I gonna say it? It's awesome in the dark. Even the candles of death look so awesome when they're actually lit up and flickering. Let's get our jumping spider going here. What? He's like in reverse. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> Sir, I'm sorry, but you played a trick on me. Go back to your home. Guys, this is like one of the most fun stores ever. It's dark in here. Everything is super creepy, just like a regular graveyard. There's like nobody else in here but me. Just look at that. And you can hear all the sounds going on over there. So cool. All right, let's just take a little walk around the store here, a little bit more. I just want to stand back here for a second, guys, and show you 
how big this store is. Look at this. It is huge. In the last video, we did everything Ghostface, and I was looking all around the store for this guy, but they didn't have him, and they do have him here. It's the Ghostface plush. Very cool. And they have Crouchy, and they have Annabelle. What do you think about that, sir? Uh... Look how cool the Michael Myers mask looks in the darkness here. It probably looks lighter in here on camera than what it actually is because the camera just tends to lighten it up, but it is pretty dark and spooky in here. And seeing this guy right here is pretty scary. It makes that mask look even better. Oh, look at this. They actually have a howling spirit over here. I wonder why it's hidden over here. Maybe somebody's gonna buy it later or something. Swinging witch, creepy crimson girl on a swing. We have these dolls here, the demon Monic Dolly. This is the second story I've seen her in this year. She is so creepy. Eerie Emma, decrepit Donna, haunted doll. This creepy pumpkin guy. And all these guys who need Tic Tacs and Aquafresh. All right, let's put a few stickers in the cauldron here. And let's come on up through here, guys, and just see if there's anything that catches my eye that I haven't really seen yet. We have some zombie babies here, the Sam doll. We have this creepy one that I'm not really sure what the heck the deal is with it, but he is definitely creepy. One thing I would like to find is the Spirit Halloween Monopoly game, and I haven't seen that yet in any store, guys. They do have the Popcorn Clown statue, and the Leatherface statue, and the Hocus Pocus Winifred statue. They do have the Nightmare Before Christmas Operation game. Oh, and they do have the 12-foot Pennywise inflatable right here, if my camera will zoom in. It's so dark in here, it won't even... I guess I have to get closer for you to see it, because it's so dark in here, it won't really focus on things. Oh, look how creepy this guy looks in the dark. Wait, what is this? Holy crap, guys, look at this. It's the Terrifier mask. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen this one. Look, he's wearing a little top hat. That is from Trick or Treat Studio 69.99. That is a really good looking mask, wow. The wigs and mask section are actually lit up pretty good here. Guys, there's only one thing this store doesn't have that every other store does. Ham hocks! Where's the ham hocks? All right, guys, one last look at the dark, spooky store. The best part is this over here where all the candles are illuminating the spooky tomb. That just looks so cool. And especially this lady right here. That I just can't get over how awesome she looks right there. That is so spooky. And then there's little Jack Carver. Shall I buy you today, sir? Did I buy you yet? I don't think I bought you yet. All right, yeah, I'm buying this guy today. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see these animatronics getting set up because I'm gonna be doing those very, very, very soon.